Maricopa County says they expect to have 99% of their ballots counted by Friday. This news comes after approximately 20% of the county's polling sites were experiencing issues with tabulation machines yesterday. County technicians changed the printer settings, which reportedly seemed to have resolved the issue. Um, it usually does. This printer's terrible. You just got to reset gotta it. Plug it, out, plug, plug it, it in. back in. Maybe refill the paper tray. <laughs> it's always like missing that. paper. Toner. Toner problem. <laughs> Toner issue. Robbie's in the case. <laughs> the campaigns for Republican gubernatorial candidate Carrie Lake, U.S. Senate candidate Blake Masters, and the Republican National Committee immediately filed lawsuits to keep polls open until 10 p.m., but a judge denied the request. Maricopa County comp comprises more than half of the state's population. A hearing on the issue was held right before polling places were set to close. According to the court, there was no evidence the glitches stopped voters from casting their ballots. Hmm. Here's gubernatorial candidate Carrie Lake responding to the tabulating issues. Things are looking very good for us. They may be trying to slow a red tsunami, but it's coming. And we are going to take back Arizona. Donald Trump also released a video message to Arizona voters uh, on Truth Social on Tuesday afternoon, uh, alleging that the situation was a, quote, complete voter integrity, all caps, disaster, saying people of Arizona don't get out of line until you cast your vote. They are trying to steal the election with bad machines and delay. Don't let it happen. Yeah. Yeah, he said he sells that reports are coming in from Arizona. The voting machines are not properly working. Here we go again. The people will not stand for it. Um, so they did have some issues with the machines. My understanding is that, right, the machines were reading the ballots wrong, which they were then able to fix. Um, obviously, obviously, that's going to raise concerns with you know, people right. who are concerned given about the, election. Given the integrity. environment. Look, the, so the Maricopa County Superior Court judge, funnily enough, named Tim Ryan, mm -hmm. rejected arguments that voters were denied to Tim the gets right. To Ohio. What are you doing, Tim? <laughs> <I know. laughs> Conspiracy theories were all about, oh, but um, yeah. says that no one was denied their right to cast ballots because of the glitches with the equipment, saying the court does not have any evidence that any voter was precluded from the right to vote. It was a tabulation issue, not a registration of yeah. vote issue. So that's why the extension to 10 p.m. was not granted, but it has delayed the count here and obviously has created an environment for folks to cast doubt on the ultimate results of this election. Yeah, which, you know, it's, it is very unfortunate and, and whoever screwed this up um, should really should be fired because so far it looks to me like the Carrie Lake, uh, out, I mean, we don't know the outcome yet, uh, but she is badly underperforming her, the polling, which had her well ahead. Uh, so, if, so, so if you have, if you end up having something going wrong with the voting machines, in the in the one race where it really is an outlier from the polling, I mean that is obviously going to make people have some questions. Yeah, and I have to time. say, Carrie Lake was one of the ones that I thought, despite the point you've been making, and I think you've been very much validated, um, your point you make about uh, candidate choice and how some of the more Trump-aligned mm -hmm. candidates that have been big lie candidates haven't been faring very well. I thought just from watching Carrie Lake and her poise, her control of the room, obviously she's a newscaster who's a well-known name in the state. Um, she presents very well. She's very good at hitting her talking points on these issues that at least the media has said are real uh, albatrosses for Democrats, immigration, crime, the you know trans kids in sports and drag shows and all of that. She hits her beats in a way that I think actually, frankly, sounds a lot less virulent from my subjective opinion, than a lot of the mm. other Republicans. And when I watched the tee up, now famously, uh, she Hobbs was not willing to debate Carrie Lake, and she made a lot of that, but they had a candidate event where they each spoke consecutively. Carrie won the room. Now, again, debates don't matter. Nobody watches them, et cetera, et cetera. But I was actually, frankly, mm. very surprised by how close this was. Mm. Um, what, what's your take on this race? Yeah, she is... Um she combines right some of the harder right policy positions and rhetoric that I, I think is is harmful to Republican candidates with an admittedly very impressive uh, television uh, quality mm -hmm. star quality kind of mm -hmm. thing. Uh, I mean, what what Donald Trump has shown and it has absolutely been an asset to him is is na familiarity, name recognition, which I, she has in Arizona. She has as a she was a TV presenter in uh, in in news there. 
Donald Trump also the name recognition and then also the TV and star and enter, the entertainment persona and presence we have learned is a massive advantage in politics that many of the same skills that would make you effective at um, at uh, at entertainment at TV at punditry at news commentary delivery appearance yeah. translate beautifully to successful campaigning, uh, to, to you know, politics itself, whatever, you have staff members do that. Right. For, the, for being the figurehead of a political movement, um, it's very, it, it, it's similar skills. So it's not surprising to see, again, Kari Lake definitely has those skills the way Trump did. So I, I, all, I, I believed the polling that had her doing, doing quite well, but uh, obviously yeah, it, well, it's the, not the, quite landing. The, this, look, this, this kind of a election mistake, this kind of technical mistake with the machines is not what Democrats want to be seeing in one of the outstanding blue-leaning states with Mark Kelly um, up about 51% uh, here at the time. Uh, so we'll continue to watch it and see what happens and, decide, and see if this is if, if, despite if Trump's warning that Democrats are trying to delay is a projection to get some delayed mm -hmm. um, outcomes here that might uh, benefit uh, Republicans down the pike. Mm, we'll see. More rising right after this.